Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Hallmarkies podcast. I'm so excited today to bring you another one of our interviews with uh, one of our Hallmark actors. And I'm Rachel, and I'm here with actor Cardi Wong today. Uh, hello. Hello, everybody. Yeah, thanks What's so up? much for uh, on coming on the podcast. Yeah, my pleasure. Actually, very honored to be here. Thank you. Yeah. So uh, why don't you, we'd like to ask our guests to uh, start by introducing yourself and telling us how what inspired you to become an actor. Okay, yeah. Hey, everybody. My name is Cardi Wong. I'm from Vancouver, BC. And honestly, I was just always kind of the, the silly guy in my family, you know? Yeah. I have a lot of, like, I had a bunch of cousins growing up, and most of them right now are just, like, into, like, whether it be they're like doctors or they're working on certain things. But for me, I've always loved to enter entertain. Me and my cousin Elliot, actually, we are kind of like the, the clowns of the family. Uh, Elliot's actually gone on to become a writer and he was kind of who inspired me to be an actor uh, because he's a few years older than me. Uh -huh. So when I was like a little kid, I always got to chance to go see his school plays and everything. And uh, <laughs> one year in elementary school, he played Rumpelstiltskin in this like, you know, like little school production or whatever. It wasn't, overly good or anything but the fact that Elliot <laughs> he just gave it 110 percent and he was so entertaining and that really inspired me and that made it so that I knew what I wanted to do which was exactly oh. what he was doing and that was to entertain that's really cute so he he's a <laughs> writer now yeah he he writes uh he think he writes for a website now and he does like YouTube videos for like instructional videos and everything so he still gets to create and which is awesome and hopefully we can work together one day Who knows? oh that'd be great that'd be yeah really cool. yeah very fun so did you end up doing plays yourself in in high school and oh yeah oh like yeah that? yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> honestly like <laughs> i was never like a very studious uh kid growing up well first of all i live right beside my school so uh -huh. you know like yeah i can like hear the bell and i, I got like five minutes or whatever to get ready. So, <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> stay by the so bell <laughs> yeah exactly but stay in school kids uh so <laughs> yeah yeah so were you so, in vancouver you grew up in, yeah 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 based in vancouver and i mm -hmm. went to Killarney, which is a school kind of in the burnaby area and that was what kept me in school honestly just like mm -hmm. the drama program there and my teacher massimo Roqueta, he mm -hmm. really kept me inspired mm -hmm. and i just I think I was really lucky just to know what my passion was at a young age, which was to entertain and to act and to like express myself that yeah. way. So what shows did you do in high school? I'm always curious. Uh, the, the, we did the Susification of Romeo and Juliet. What is that? <laughs> it's exactly what it sounds like. <laughs> it's just Romeo and Juliet, uh, but like Susified. So with like we, the cat in the hat and uh and the Lorax no. falling in love like what <laughs> no I wish that would have been cool but it's just like the same characters as Romeo and Juliet but like you know in the rhyming couplets that like they spoke oh, in oh okay yeah <laughs> and so we were like <laughs> we did things like with instead of swords we had like balloon swords and it's just such a fun project wow. to be a part of and just that stuff sounds like that really fun like most yeah like I did <laughs> plays in high school as well, and I did uh -huh. uh, like the standards high school. I did Bye Bye Birdie, and oh, yeah, exactly. yeah. the Wiz, and mm -hmm. uh, Oklahoma, and uh, right. Little Abner or the, the uh, shows. No, yeah. not not Killarney. <laughs> yeah, <you changed> it <laughs> up. yeah, that's good. That's really mm -hmm. good. it was so fun. Yeah, very cool. And uh, so after that, yeah, just uh, <laughs> went on to go to Capilano, which is the uh, college in North Vancouver. Uh huh. Yeah, and I uh, got my film and theater program uh, diplomacy there. And then from there, I just got an agent, and here we yeah. are. Yeah. Do you miss doing that live live theater? Or do you still? Oh, I, oh, man, I wish I could do live theater professionally. But uh, luckily, I'm still in class. I'm still working, kind of like training now. So uh -huh. I work in a, like an onstage kind of class, whatever you want to call it. So I do get to express myself still in live performance but not to like uh, an audience more so yeah. just like my peers, but right. soon yeah. enough, I'd love to do some theater locally. It's yeah. just hard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That would be really cool. Yeah. There is something about that, that thrill of that, uh, uh, cause you're so nervous up until. <laughs> yeah. You, yeah, they, the preparation and then, and everything. yeah. And then you, and then it always seems to work out. I mean, if you have problems, yeah, like, one time when I was in high school, I was, we were doing a sort of a whole bunch of different, little scenes from Shakespeare in this play uh -huh. and yeah. it was kind of like a 
greatest hits thing. And, <laughs> and I, I didn't have very much. I, I was, I had a pretty small role and, but um, my dress, it kept, um, uh, it kept uh, the seam, the hem and stuff oh, no. mess, falling apart, whatever. <laughs> yeah. And it was a very yeah. old stage. And I, I go on for, I was just going to go on to just say like one line or whatever. <laughs> yeah. My, <Your> one chance. <laughs> yeah. And my dress caught on something on this, on the thing, on the stage. Uh -oh. And you could hear it ripped. And thankfully it was like, there were many layers, but it wasn't like so bad, but yeah. it was still so embarrassing. Cause I'm trying and to the audience heard it and everything. Yeah, oh yeah. It was <laughs> no. loud. And, and uh, yeah. I was trying, I'm supposed to be off stage and I'm trying to get loose from the, you know, thing. And, and you're trapped, was, literally yeah. trapped up there. <laughs> that's, like, like, that's an well, actor's nightmare. I, yeah. I still have those nightmares where I'm on stage <laughs> and I'm doing some random school play and I have no idea what's going on. And I don't know my lines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> happens all the time yeah but that was that was a reality for you i'm sorry to hear that <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really was disturbing and i'm sure it was really only like 20 seconds like hardly totally time yeah at all but it felt so long and I was way like, worse to you than anyone yeah, else yeah like <laughs> just dying yeah. now <laughs> totally <laughs> and that's the thing about theater right you you live and die on the stage you don't get to do a retake or anything yeah and that's what's fun about it too mm -hmm. so there's just like different components to both that i yeah love to keep pursuing so were you a big movie buff growing up no actually not oh, really no i was yeah which is i just like love doing it but like i like i still haven't seen a lot of classics like uh -huh. I'm a huge hockey fan, but I've never seen a single Mighty Ducks movie. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I know. What? It seems to be. Yeah, so, so so that's gonna be on the dock. I gotta work on that for sure. Yeah. I just can't call myself a true Canadian. You gotta work on it so you can be in uh, the Hallmark version of Mighty Ducks. Oh my gosh! Can we can, yeah. can we get on that, please? Yes. <laughs> working my whole life for this yeah it would be great they could just get all of the uh the kids from when the calls the heart yeah. oh. and they can have them <laughs> they're so cute yeah they yeah, yeah. Movie. Kids from <laughs> it'll be great just, just like a pond just like an open pond yeah. setting like yeah. oh man yeah can, I be, the, can be, i be the can no. i be the, the coach <laughs> yeah i'll play the coach yeah. I, I I think that would be great. Yeah, all right. <laughs> we'll, we'll start we'll start working on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 2020. <laughs> pay attention, guys. It's too bad Amber's not here because she would like die at that suggestion. She <laughs> loves that kind of stuff. <laughs> so if you're listening, uh, Hallmark, get on this because we need the we want we've been talking for a long time about Hallmark, getting our cutting edge. <laughs> movie yeah, but you can yeah. also have it could be like a whole for Winterfest. it's perfect yeah <laughs> anyway, it'd be so good very good <laughs> well at least that helps you hopefully in all, all these ice skating scenes that you know how to <laughs> you don't need like yeah. the support and the oh like just like the back yeah like the, yeah. the stunt actor or whatever yeah cause sometimes it's like <laughs> eh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah it's like uh what's her name uh, in the avengers movies yeah, yeah scarlett johansson yeah. in the avengers movies where it's just like back shot back shot back shot back shot yeah <laughs> yeah yeah we kind of tease about amelia ularup not being the greatest at fake ice skating <laughs> <laughs> not her we're like, well, we're, we're, we're like hallmark have her be in like a snowball fight next time like don't have her yeah. do ice skating it's not yeah honestly strength. or just put me in a wig and i'll do it for yeah. you like, I've been, yeah. that sounds good i'll be the hallmark stunt <laughs> skater for everyone yeah. <laughs> <That's> funny <laughs> yeah uh, very good well uh, yeah we'll have to we'll have to make a whole like list of movies that you can watch and then we can mm -hmm. follow up classic honestly yeah, yeah that i missed out in my childhood yeah. <laughs> <laughs> too busy playing games and stuff oh yeah <laughs> you were a big uh, gamer you like yeah huge games? gamer yeah oh. uh, yeah if you ever heard of uh, world of warcraft it's yeah, like a computer game yeah oh man oh man <laughs> yeah we're talking like 14 hours a day don't even oh my realize gosh. it <laughs> me and my me and my friends after 14 hours we're like wow we're really hungry <laughs> like we haven't eaten all <laughs> I haven't eaten all day. You're like the 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 food in the game doesn't quite uh, yeah satisfy. You don't have you don't you don't have time for both. You know so yeah. <laughs> gotta make that sacrifice sometimes. That is really funny. No, I have never <laughs> played World of Warcraft. I played Halo once and it did not go well. 
No. I, so bad. <laughs> that was a fun that was a fun game too on uh, the <laughs> Xbox there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I uh, I have a, a, a what's called a strabismus. I have a bit it's like a lazy eye basically. And oh, okay. so it's really yeah. hard for me to play video games unless it's like Oh, cuz there's like so much I see. Yeah, I see. and like the hand eye coordination is not my strength. Mm. Um <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but I did go to Warcraft the movie and I wanted to die. It oh was, my gosh. It was not for me. <laughs> yeah. It was not for me either. Trust me. Like <laughs> growing up with it, like I was like so amped for the movie and yeah. I went to it. And I was like, oh yikes. But yeah. you know, there's a second one coming out apparently, so you can put oh, me in that no. and I'll still be I will still be jazzed. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they'll fix it, but they had a good director, but oh it yeah, was so I was just, just like, like what not... is going on? I'm so <laughs> confused. <laughs> And there's no, nothing worse than that, right? Paying yeah. for a movie and you're just like counting down like the minutes until it's over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it it was brutal, but uh, <laughs> but yeah, I <laughs> I hope they at least get a better um outfit for Paula makeup and stuff for Paula Patton. She looks so weird in that movie. <laughs> It's like what is she a beautiful I mean, yeah. woman like what is going on <laughs> but anyway so you uh, got your start in hallmark at least in 2016 doing so you had like three small roles in yeah was it was it 2016 man i don't even yeah then appetite for love unleashing mr darcy darcy and, yeah oh, yeah my heart and right. I know those were small roles, but did you have any kind of memories or was your experience like your first time working for Hallmark? Yeah, it was, I saw that. So like for Appetite for Love, that's the Lacey one, right? Lacey Chabert? Or is that? Uh, no, um, that's All My Heart. All My Heart. That's yeah. right. All My Heart. Yeah. yeah. So that was my first ever Hallmark, I believe. Uh -huh. And so I get the call sheet the night before and I see her name. I'm like, why does that name sound so familiar? Oh. And so I go IMDb here and I'm like, oh my God, it's Gretchen Wieners. And I, yeah, in high school, <laughs> I was a huge Mean Girls fan. I yeah. think it was like one of yeah. the best movies of that time. Uh huh. So I was so, so, so excited to meet her that like on set the next day. And yeah, she, she's exactly as sweet as you'd imagine. She's just like the nicest person to work with and it was really cool to just kind of hang out with her for the day and I couldn't believe it. It was like, I was in Mean Girls, yeah. you know? <laughs> That's what we yeah. like to hear for, we call the Queens of Hallmark. Yeah. That's what we like to hear from our Queens of Hallmark that they. <laughs> oh, she, yeah, no, she was, she was awesome to work with. And just yeah. from there, I just kind of like, cause I didn't really know about Hallmark, right? I mean, we don't really have the channel here in Vancouver. Uh -huh. We have like the W network and everything. But yeah, that was kind of my, kind of, you know, my, dip my toes into hallmark yeah. and from there just uh everything else started to fall into place and mm -hmm. yeah and they're just like such fun movies to be a part of you know? yeah yeah mm -hmm. yeah is it is it i know they make them very fast and all that is that kind oh, of yeah. stressful or is it uh, uh, fun or <laughs> where i am kind of now in my career with hallmark yes it is stressful because of how the like the capacity like all the lines i have to memorize in the short amount of time i'm given you know what i mean uh-huh yeah, but um, that's that's like the that's honestly like the hardest part. Everything else in terms of like dissecting the script and where my character is at this time with their like mentality, it's like it's relative. It's easy enough. So no, I love. I don't know. I love doing homework. It's just. Do you have a strategy that fun. helps you with those lines? Uh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'd ha I have to uh, read the script through all the way like two or okay. three times mm -hmm. just so I can understand my character's journey. Is what uh -huh. we call it. So, like from the beginning of the film, where he is to the end, and what does he learn in between? And then I I put little tabs on every single scene that I'm a part of, and then for the big scenes that I have to really memorize and really work on, I put a star beside the scene number. Yeah. So that's kind of how I dissect every single scene from scene one to okay. scene fifty, whatever. And that makes uh, sense. then yeah, and then you get the call sheet, or you get like you kind of get the shoot schedule, and then you figure out which days you need to memorize which scenes. And it's mm -hmm. just, it's just a series of like sitting there and writing a lot of writing. Do you practice your, uh, your lines with like family or your roommates or whoever? Uh, I usually try to get some friends. Yeah. yeah. On the bigger scenes, I usually yeah. try to get my friends to kind of come by and help me memorize. But for uh -huh. the most part, I usually do it by myself. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so you got to work with, this is your upcoming is your second time working with taylor cole but you got to work with blonde haired taylor cole 
and <laughs> brown hair taylor cole in uh appetite for love uh, right yeah right yeah, <laughs> yeah and then in, in her new series the yeah. ruby herring she's gonna yeah, be red, red hair. hair so she's yeah, just all to, over the place it's hard to keep up honestly yeah, yeah. i know <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, but that must have been fun to get to work with her again uh, yeah yeah i mean yeah. taylor's just so awesome and down to earth and just so mm-hmm. friendly right from the get-go you know like and some certain stars you're a little intimidated because they've been around the you know they've been around for mm-hmm. so long and yeah as a like a day player as a small role you kind of come and go and they meet five million of you a day right uh-huh. but no taylor was just so warm and welcoming it's like we instantly got along pretty well yeah Mm -hmm. very cool uh so that yeah that must have been fun and and you were on the first wedding march Mm -hmm. uh, yeah and uh did you get to meet jack wagner (laughs) yeah 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 jack's yeah jack was a really cool guy we unfortunately didn't get to talk too much Uh because of how kind of quickly we were moving along but uh i remember that day we were shooting at one of the most beautiful places in uh, we were in Langley, I think, at some sort of golf resort. And man, the mountains and the water and everything, like, you had uh-huh. to be there. It's just like, just such a breathtaking oh, view. Yeah. yeah. A lot of the Hallmark shoots, you know, you go to these locations and they're just so beautiful. You just kind of yeah. take a second to look around and just be like, wow, I'm so, so lucky to be here uh-huh. right now. Yeah. And, Very cool. And I try to do that, yeah, with every project. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they got it all up there in Canada. Sometimes we're so <laughs> jealous because some of them are made here in Utah, but right. like, what can we compete with? You know, you've got the beach there. You've got mountains yeah. there. Like it's all like right beside. It's not each fair. Other. <laughs> Have you ever had a chance to come by? <laughs> no, I would love to, though. My, no? uh, I've never been to, to can I mean, I've been to Niagara Falls, but that's the only time I've ever been to Canada, oh. uh, which I don't think that really okay. counts. <laughs> kind of. <too>. <laughs> <laughs> Really that's the opposite cool. side of where i am but uh yeah yeah oh well, i mean if you ever if you guys ever decide to come to vancouver i'll show you guys around oh let's seriously that would be really fun that would yeah. be really fun yeah <laughs> i would love to uh, uh, especially since you know we've gotten so involved in in uh the podcast and gotten to know so many people up there and it mm-hmm. would be really fun uh yeah, a so, lot of the shoots up here yeah. yeah um so yeah when you do a christmas movie like you did christmas in the air uh yep. um was your first one i think yeah. uh so when was that filmed? Was that in July or was it later? Yeah. 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 So July? most of the Christmas movies are going to be filmed during the summer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which is, uh, is that weird? A weird experience? <laughs> it's, it's kind of weird. You, you get to set, it's like the hottest day of the year and all around you is like snow and everything like, uh-huh. and like how they design the trees, but it's cool. Cause it's sectional, right? Like they only design the areas that are going to be in the background. So this one random patch of grass is just going to have snow for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> and so it is weird. And it's it's weird having to play cold when you're sweating. <laughs> yeah. Do you have to like drink a lot so you don't get Oh cold yeah. Heated? Yeah. Yeah. Like they take very good care of you. They, they check up with you in between every shot, but that doesn't stop me from being a naturally <laughs> sweaty guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So like, you know, in between they powder you <laughs> off and because of how the mic is kind of set up on you, like they put it on your jacket a certain way. So you can't take off your jacket. Uh-huh. You can only yeah. like kind of take it off just by the shoulders. So it's kind of, but it's right. important to kind of take care of yourself in that way. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, yeah. It's got to be weird. Like seeing the, the cameraman and everything like that in like their shorts and t-shirts. <laughs> you're like bundled so up. So lucky. Star. They all got these like, <laughs> totally. they got these like little like, you know, these little fans or whatever going off. And I'm just standing there like just so, je- so jealous <laughs> with my scarf. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> scarf and leather gloves <laughs> yeah but that's yeah. movie magic for you you know yeah. it's, it's really cool to be a part of and i think they did a much better job this year with snow coverage and yeah that worked <laughs> last year i i i don't know I, if they just had more budget this year uh mm-hmm. but i don't know i thought they there were very few where it took me out of the movie yeah yeah, yeah for year. sure some of the scenes you can tell like oop that is definitely soap but otherwise, yeah. <laughs> like the way they, otherwise right. they kind of designed it in a way that they like they light the background so that you can see the snow in you know getting caught in the updraft. So that's like kind of a cool technical yeah. thing that people don't get to like notice. Yeah, they do. Re- they did a really good job this year with that, and I feel like they even maybe filmed some a little bit later, like in September and October, mm-hmm. which I'm sure so they do kinda, every yeah. year. But uh, sure. I don't know. It just seemed like there were a few more that looked that looked oh. 
because uh, I, I, I maybe I was just particularly attuned to it because we did this whole uh, Hallmark uh, fantasy draft thing where we had different <laughs> categories and us in the bubbly sesh, we each picked okay. different ones. And so we were kind of, and one of mine was fake winner where it looks fake. And so yeah. I was looking and I was like, none of these look fake. They all look good. Like, I'm not <laughs> getting any points. So, that is a hilarious idea, fantasy yeah. draft. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty good. I got second place. <laughs> Oh, congrats! Um, yeah, uh, Jax from the Bubbly says she won because mm-hmm. she got nice. um she got holiday festival and community events. So that was oh, just like gold. That's, a, that's that's a great one. Yeah, yeah. that's a staple. You're gonna yeah. get some major major points. <laughs> so you pretty much got a point for every single movie. Right. <laughs> for the rest just of racking, us, like, just running away with it, racking <laughs> yeah. it up. I mean, I had decorating Christmas trees, so that did very well for That's me. a really good one, too. That did very did, well. Did you make, like, a championship belt or anything? Like, we, I know a lot of my buddies. Should. We should have. Yeah. And, and when they do, like, <laughs> fantasy football, they, like, get, like, a belt, like a championship yeah. belt, and they yeah. just get to brag about it all year. That's true. That's a good idea, actually. Mm-hmm. We should do or that. Set a hat. Yeah, so, something like to, that. You so, know? To Jax. We were still kind of debating, like, what should the prize be? But, yeah, a belt, that would be fun. But uh, yeah, yeah. Santa hat, anything here. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> then the next year, uh, yeah. she can pass it on to the next winner. It'll, it'll be fun. Well, unless she's but, a two-time champion, you know. She's yeah, gotta, that's true. She's keep her, keep her throwing there. She is good. She's very good at that. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, and you were in one of the Grisel mysteries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was in a picture. Uh, uh, picture yeah, a picture of murder. Yeah, Lori Lachlan. Just she's, she's yeah. I've worked with so many of the Hallmark queens and everything. Like yeah. It's really been a cool, yeah, she was, like, so kind. (laughs) I don't know how else to put it, Yeah, all the way through. She was, it was an honor working with her. Yeah, because, yeah, you've gotten to work with Catherine Bell, who I love, and Mm -hmm. Lacey Chabert, and... uh, Jesse. uh, Yes, yeah, we'll talk about that. So, yeah, 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 so, uh, was that a different experience at all, working on the mysteries, as opposed to the rom-coms? Like, just a different, or is it... Uh, just a different mm. sort of tone and feel at all or oh basically... definitely yeah oh in terms of tone yeah. definitely because it is a murder mystery you know yeah. what i mean so there is that uh-huh. darkness to that scene that i uh-huh. kind of i brought in opposed to like you know christmas is like oh no i, I can't come <laughs> yeah. with you yeah. versus like oh yeah in this picture this guy gets murdered so yeah that's where the difference <laughs> lies and that's where it was that's where it was fun too like the yeah. difference in tone that i can kind of set so yeah but I love the Grassel Mysteries. I think they are by far the best of the mystery series. Yeah. I don't know. I just think they're definitely. They're, I definitely. like the combination of the family stuff mm-hmm. with the mystery stuff. I think that makes it work really well. And mm-hmm. uh, yeah, and Lori, she's great. She's really yeah. fun. So yeah. Um, so yeah, so the birthday wish, I actually think that the birthday wish is one of the best Hallmark movies, uh, certainly non-Christmas in the last couple oh, yeah? of years. I do. I really <laughs> awesome. like Thank it. I, I really like the story. I think the idea of of her just seeing this like quick glimpse of what her life her future like, and everything, yeah. as opposed yeah. to like something like The Family Man, where you're actually like living in your alternative life, like which mm-hmm. I enjoy those two. But this is was mm-hmm. just like a little bit different. She gets this like yeah. little thing, and like the it's fantasy her- of it. Yeah, and I mean, yeah. who could ignore Luke McFarlane working <laughs> working alongside them all those months? I have no idea. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Yeah, dude is charming. He's oh <laughs> yeah. my gosh, he is Man. so charming. And yeah. his uh, little smirk. He's got this yeah, little smirk does. in his eyes and something yeah. like yeah. He, <laughs> he does. Trying to work with you. They had really good chemistry, and mm-hmm. I. I, I even I kind of liked because you know Marcus Rosner is so good at playing the wrong guy. In mm-hmm. that one though, like his position kind of made sense because they had come, they had basically had this agreement about what their relationship was, and then yep. after she sees this, she's the one changing. I mean, he does yeah. giving her that ring was ridiculous, and he <laughs> totally flubbed it up there. But if I uh, it he he was going off of their earlier kind of agreement of what their relationship was. And then she's mm-hmm. changing. He's not changing. That's the problem. And yeah. uh, so I think that actually makes a lot of sense. And I, I've actually, I got to interview Jesse and I got to interview Julie, Julie Sherman Wolf, who's the writer. Uh-huh. And she, Julie said that that's her favorite thing she ever has ever written. And I, oh, I awesome. really why, cause I think it's, I think it's really good. I think it's very, very heartfelt. And yeah. 
Um, and uh, I, yeah, I really like Jesse in that. And she she mentioned in our interview that she, that she got to work with you again for Road to Christmas, which was was yeah, fun. yeah, it was cool. I like yeah. seeing you know seeing like the cast pictures. I was like, oh, nice. It's like uh -huh. Jesse, yeah. yeah. And uh, I don't know how much you know about uh, David Lewis, who was also on The Birthday Wish, but uh, mm, I don't he, know. He played he played the um he played the director i think or not the director but oh yeah yeah, yeah. The, like it was like the oh the cam director of photography yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. i do and know him okay yeah <laughs> yeah and he was just <laughs> he's he's hilarious and he's so well uh -huh. in vancouver so like getting to know him too yeah it was a really fun set to be a part of and just like because as i was a slate guy right so like in between uh -huh. takes i yeah. would watch the actual slate person do all of their business and i just try to copy them and it's yeah. just like so meta in a way because like their slate would go and then my slate would go <laughs> right like, yeah so, so yeah yeah and do you cool. want to go to like some uh some like pub or whatever with all the guys from the crew like they do with the <laughs> yeah <movie? laughs> do, do a quick quiz like yeah do a trivia yeah trivia night yeah do some wings yeah <laughs> that, that would have been awesome <laughs> <laughs> yeah and uh so uh yeah i really do enjoy that one so then road Thank to you. christmas this is mm -hmm. probably your largest role on Hallmark so far. Oh, and absolutely. And this movie was my number one movie of Countdown to Christmas. Yes. If you listen to our top 10 uh, from uh, the post of the last week that we did. Uh -huh. uh, and it was in every single, it was me, Amy, and uh, and we had a guest, uh, Sam, the Hallmark Cubby on yeah. Twitter. Um, yeah. He joined us for that count, uh, countdown. Yeah, and uh, we had Road to Christmas on all three of our <laughs> Nice. Honestly, yeah. that makes me so happy. Thank we you so much for that. We loved it. It was so good. And we Thank you. really just liked all of the stuff with the brothers, like with you and then the other brother. Yeah, it was and, refreshing. Yeah. 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 It was, and I mean, I, you got to credit Zach on that. Zach Hunt, yeah. the writer, just like oh. the way he was able to he did such a great job and you could tell that he's a new writer because it just had like that little bit of kind of uh i don't know a little spark in it that, totally different yeah. kind of flavor on it or yeah. Something. Yeah, yeah yeah it was yeah. so good and i i don't thank know I you loved, yeah thank you so much <laughs> yeah i i really liked i felt like the thing i liked about the road, the road to christmas so much is that a lot of uh, Christmas movies like the family dysfunction is very over the top you know your mm -hmm. national lampoons your family stones <laughs> kind of thing and I, I like those fine but what I liked about this is I felt like the conflict was very easy to relate to because it's not like you guys didn't love each other you did yeah. like yeah. I like the fact that um Chad Michael Murray's character is like sending you food packages and, like, <laughs> you know, you peanut still, butter <laughs> and, yeah and and you and the other brother were Jeff, yeah. yeah that you uh, were still kind of having your own traditions together it's just that it's not that you didn't love each other it's just that yeah you were were struggling to communicate we're really different and because I think that's so relatable. Because <laughs> like, absolutely, mm -hmm. yeah. Because my family, we all there were six kids in my family, and we all love each other, um, but we're all really different, like as different as can be. And so it can be. Mm -hmm. kind of Sorry, you said six. Six total six? kids in my family. Yeah, <laughs> that's a lot. <laughs> and, yeah, <laughs> and uh, we're we're just as different as can be, and mm -hmm. that's what makes it fun, and that's great. But it can be a challenge, and I don't know. I just really related to that. Like yeah. I thought that. Uh, it was um, just really neat to see sort of the progression uh, and to see the three of you together. I liked that you each mm -hmm. kind of uh, identified yourself as like in sort of the order that you were adopted. Not just <laughs> and then like, our competition in between. Yeah. Yeah. Like. yeah it was <laughs> <laughs> so many of my friends, you know, that, that one shot of me saying best hair, best smile. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Goes, so many of my friends pause right there and make <laughs> me stand beside my own picture. And like, <laughs> it's been, it was like, cause a lot of my friends made me watch it with them. So, yeah. and it's like the weirdest experience. <laughs> yeah. You're like, pause. They all start screaming. They're like, you gotta stand beside your own picture. <laughs> yeah. I'm just like good. shy, like awkwardly. <laughs> You're like Chad Michael yeah. Murray. I don't care if you're on One Tree Hill. <laughs> <Not me. laughs> oh man, yeah, yeah, you can imagine my surprise when I heard that he was going to play my brother. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> so so the the other brother he was named jeff i yeah, I, yeah, jeff. I forget jeff. their yeah. names but david did, david david okay so did mm-hmm. did you guys kind of talk about because they didn't actually say that this yeah. is my partner like yeah yeah he yeah was, he was gay did you guys talk about that or was it just kind of understood or i don't know i was just curious about that because it was definitely like unusual for hallmark I mean, and i love hallmark right yeah. yeah no totally everything that's the thing i think it was just like it didn't need to be said uh-huh you know and also on top of that me as like an asian actor that was also yeah. something that didn't really need to be yeah. said either it was just something sure. that was like real like that was just the reality of the world i think that that was painted in road to christmas yeah and that kind of makes sense like, sure yeah yeah i yeah, mean we really like sure to see I'm... it um and mm-hmm. you know hopefully it'll just continue even more that it can actually like we can even have more representation of all different uh types of people yeah um, all races and um yeah, yeah definitely yeah. i'd love for that too yeah and it's was... i mean it's you know we're we're, we're slowly but surely doing yeah. it we're creating the conversation of it as well too yeah. which is the most important part really yeah and uh yeah because we were all because i thought for sure that he had introduced uh him as his partner mm-hmm. but because i i just i think i just you just heard it <laughs> made it up myself i don't know i was so yeah. sure that amber is like oh no he didn't actually say that they were very careful yeah. to dance around it and i was like no no you're wrong and she's like no i'm right and so i went back and watched it. i'm like you're right Darn it <laughs> um, yeah i wasn't i wasn't but... part of like the, the conversation obviously on whether or not it was in fact but i think yeah i think i think it's like stated early yeah i i definitely yeah. think everybody was like okay that's that's what it is and mm-hmm. and nobody cared so i hope that kind of gives at least that i talked yeah. to nobody cares so i hope that yeah. gives hallmark some confidence to, just a little just a little you yeah. know step forward we're gonna that's right it, it can't happen overnight but yeah. we're 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 doing it and i really yeah. respect and appreciate the fact that it happened yeah i agree you know? and mm-hmm. i loved the the scene when because you're really struggling because you have these traditions with the one brother that yeah. you're doing and you don't want to leave, but then you also want to show the love for your mom, mom. and mm-hmm. you're kind of torn between these two brothers. And that's very, as uh, I, I'm i the second in my family, so I can okay. definitely relate to that dynamic. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. But, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I, I thought when you you leave everybody at the uh at the train station, train station. i was like oh mm-hmm. no <laughs> <laughs> i know i'm so <laughs> i knew i knew that would kind of get that reaction from people it's it, it's so cool to be a part of that you know what i mean to yeah. be able to like actually affect someone like that and that's just kind of what i've been working towards this whole time this is part of my you know my dream and my passion and yeah. so it's just it's just really cool to be able to kind of evoke that emotion yeah. from people yeah, it was really good. But that's just me speaking from a technical acting point of view, you know. Yeah. I'm sure it's very sad for everyone else. <laughs> no, no, it, it was, I mean, you, that's all part of it. And yeah. <laughs> like, oh no. Um, I mean, of course, you know, like you're watching a homework review, you know that, well, that's not really the ending, but still you kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. go along it's with it. It's part of the journey of it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And, uh, and yeah, I thought the, when she does see, all of you three i thought that yeah. really worked and i that was a very very yeah. sweet moment i really was all terrible that. too oh man yeah and uh uh they've got to do a road to christmas 2 where you think they, so oh I yeah think so. i think so, I think so. <laughs> yeah gotta do a road to christmas 2 and uh it can be like road to the wedding or so, christmas wedding or something like that christmas road to the christmas oh, okay yeah. okay I yeah see they can do that like road back or something yeah, yeah 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 road to the christmas wedding and they're like maybe doing little stops along the way mm-hmm. to their like christmas wedding or whatever that's like gonna be uh right. going to be catered or whatever by Ju- julia weiser's whatever they have a special uh-huh. Uh-huh. yeah 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 <laughs> it'll be great sure. and yes <laughs> and uh and then you can have some kind of love interest along you know the what way. that's what i that's kind of what i'm thinking too 2019 yeah. 2020 like yeah i think my next kind of goal in my career is to be the just to have a love interest yeah that would be amazing <laughs> I, yeah. yeah and i just kind of saw like people on twitter kind of asking for it too and i'm like well yes. if, you, if hallmark wants to do it i'm ready put yeah. me in coach you know yeah <laughs> it would be great you could they could have maybe someone like uh sandy sadu who we love uh okay. they yeah. could hire her 
and <laughs> it'd be perfect. <laughs> and then we're going to coach the Pee Wee hockey team. <laughs> yes. Oh, this is perfect. I Comes love it. Full circle. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're moving we're moving along here we're trucking yeah. along <laughs> but yeah i would was, love to do was, a sequel it would be yeah. so fun i hope they do i think i just think there's a lot of potential in there because you have so many yeah. characters because a lot of times the ones that have sequels the problem that a lot of times with the hallmark sequels is that they've got the couple together and they don't really know what to do next and oh so, like, i see what you their mean. solution yeah, yeah, yeah. seems to be a lot of times to oddly go kind of dark and like mm -hmm. give them all this conflict which yeah. is like understandable <laughs> but can actually leave you kind of like Ugh. <laughs> don't stop that stop that right now <laughs> and instead of just like having fun adventures as a couple and yeah like, what I wish they would do is kind of like what they do with romance novels in uh, like, you'll have a whole series in like a town, like, like mm -hmm. for instance, the fool's gold series by Susan Mallory. So they, they have like the first book is about uh, a couple and like say Joe and Lisa. And then the yeah. next book will be about a minor couple in Joe and Lisa's first story. And you'll see like a cameo from Joe and Lisa, but now it's mm. about their relationship. Oh, next, I see what you mean. See? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the next one is about another minor couple from the previous book. And that's uh -huh. how they kind of do, that's how romance novels work. And I wish that cool. Hallmark did that a little bit more. That would be fun. So you just have like continual kind of spinoffs from this. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you said that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm glad you said that because I'm sure we'll talk about it in a bit too. But yeah. uh, one winter proposal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Something, something along the lines yeah. <laughs> that happens, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> well, real quick, though, I want to talk about Christmas Pen Pals because even though yes. it's on Lifetime, it was one of yeah. my favorites of Christmas. It was so good. Yeah. I loved um, it. Actually, I actually haven't had a chance to check it out yet. Oh, like, you haven't, haven't watched it yet? It. No, no, I haven't had a chance to like find it or anything. Oh, it's so good. You can it's get so it good? on yes, you can and you can get it on like Voodoo or on oh, okay. whatever streaming, like they have it for sale for very cheap. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh awesome. I loved it. I yeah. liked every single character. I was reading <laughs> awesome. for every single character. Uh -huh. I love Michael Gross. He was amazing. I love Oh, he was him. awesome. Yeah. He had a lot yeah. he had a lot of cool things to like yeah. kind of teach us, you know yeah oh like i bet being in the biz for so long it was cool yeah. to listen to what he had to say yeah yeah and sarah, I loved, sarah drew yeah sarah drew was so and i'd never seen her before in anything because i don't uh -huh. watch Grey's anatomy she yeah, was me neither. the best and niall made her i think it's the sexiest he's ever been he was <laughs> was he oh, oh he's killing oh. it hey in the yes. final shirt and everything oh i was yeah. in love with him and the whole mm -hmm. idea of just like all these different people writing letters giles panton was great in it i mm -hmm. just thought it was yeah, yeah, yeah. the best so yeah. way to go <laughs> thank you yeah that, yeah i i guess uh yeah i only had like three or four days on it but those three or four days were so fun uh -huh. too and uh, yeah yeah it was That's awesome so cool okay uh -huh. well let's talk about one winter proposal <laughs> okay. coming up and coming up yes January 12th this is so exciting so two days before my birthday <laughs> we are loved one winter weekend this week we are doing our top 10 of uh hallmark non-christmas non of okay uh with ruth yeah. hill and uh yeah you might see uh one winter weekend on those lists because we oh, really maybe. liked we'll it see. Yeah, maybe. make sure you tune in we'll see what yeah, happens that's right um <laughs> and we really liked it i thought it was very good i liked both of the couples i thought they were really great i liked the fact that sort of their career goals and their ambitions were respected yeah. by the script yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, i i just thought they had such chemistry and it was so cute and uh so i'm so thrilled that they're gonna have a proposal that they're gonna have a sequel and uh, i'm really looking forward to it coming up and my only worry is that i'm a little upset that uh that uh Megan and Sean uh, lost touch. I'm like, what? Mm -hmm. They were the cutest yeah. thing about it. How did they lose touch? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, but it's, yeah, exactly. So it, it's cool because, and then they kind of, because it's the sequel, they kind of try to go back. Uh -huh. You know, they go back yeah. to the resort where they all kind of met up for the first time and yeah, yeah. So knock some sense into them i hope very hopefully <laughs> i guess <laughs> i guess we'll have to see when the yeah. movie comes out <laughs> yeah. losing touch i was like what how dare <laughs> <they>? <laughs> but uh but yeah i i 
in the idea of the proposal is going to be so fun yeah um, oh it was it was yeah you i think i think you guys are going to love it if you if you love the first one as much as you did yeah, the second one's going to be like uh, better awesome <laughs> so uh, so what's your role in that yeah um so i play i play a guy named ethan uh-huh i'm essentially rakia kind of moves on to this new magazine Ooh. company so are you her new boyfriend uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I was say, Ooh, are we gonna hate you? Oh no! <laughs> no, no, it's impossible to hate me. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, no, so I play Ethan, who is her assistant, and basically, she's kind of tasked with this new job to uh, fill out this new art, uh, this new section in the art in the magazine. Uh-huh. And since I'm her assistant, I also had a minor in photography. So I kind of get, essentially, I get dragged along <laughs> into the resort with everybody. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that's I'm kind of there at task to, like, take photos and everything. And that's all I'm going to try to say about that. Some things happen. Maybe a proposal. Uh, we, <laughs> it's hard to say, right? <laughs> but, but I think you should definitely tune in if you love the first one. The second yeah. one would just be, like, so satisfying. Yeah. That will be so good. I'm really looking forward to it. To end our interviews with a little, just some silly questions. We call them them the Teen Beat questions. And uh, so uh, here we go. All right. The first one is, what is the best ice cream flavor? Oh, that's easy. Cookies and cream. Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah. Yeah, Good choice. Can't get enough of it. Yeah. Favorite color? Favorite color I think my favorite color, I think it's green. It's like between blue and green. Yeah. Right now I'm wearing like a robe because I'm in my car. <laughs> and, it's, okay. and it's like a blue and green one. So uh, I say green. Okay. Go. Green. See, it's good. Green is very on brand for home. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So very good. <laughs> um, okay. What music is your favorite right now? What are you listening to? Right now? Uh, uh-huh. There's an artist. His name is Ziggy Alberts. And he does a lot of acoustic music that's just kind of like relaxing. And I actually found that kind of music on the set of uh, One Winter Proposal. So oh. kind of ties together. It's really nice. Cool. Ziggy Alberts. Good. Okay. What is your go-to date night food? <laughs> date night food. Mm. <laughs> I'd have to go on a date to get that. Uh, <laughs> I, think, I think it's just a nice, you know, like a nice steakhouse or something that yeah. has steaks but also has like you know all your pastas and everything yeah. and get a nice fine wine something like that yeah nighttime See, that's smart because steak is like the best food for a date because it's like not too messy you're not gonna have to use your hands mm-hmm. like, you yeah know, like a sandwich that could get messy. Oh, or nachos or something and you don't want anything that's too smelly that would be bad yeah like so <laughs> sort of garlicky kind of onion yeah mess. it's a bad idea <laughs> yeah so <laughs> Somewhere with somewhere with a nice dessert too. See, you, know? you should be going on lots of dates because you got it. You, <laughs> I'll mark. You listening? <laughs> yeah, that's right. So, what is your go-to date night activity that you think is really fun to do? I love. <laughs> funny enough, I love ice skating. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, there's this kind of open rink area downtown, and it's just you just kind of it's like a very casual kind of skate. Yeah. The ice is pretty bad. But, you, you know, you're just kind of able to skate around and talk and get to know each other. And if she can't skate that well, you know, yeah. hold hands, yeah. help her, whatever. Very it's smart. Enough. Yeah. And if you <laughs> fall, then you can, like, rescue. It's like, yeah, exactly. It, Perfect. Very good. Okay, good. I think that sounds good. All right. Are you team dogs or cats? Ooh, I, I'm, I'm team cats. Oh, I, not that I actually, team yeah, cats. I have, I have a cat myself. I, I named him Finn. Oh, and yeah, so he's just like my best buddy. Like, oh, that's so cute. Kittens, kittens make me squeal. I don't know what it is. They're just so <laughs> adorable yeah. that I can't help it, and I squeal. <laughs> well, you must have liked. I mean, those in in Road to Christmas. Oh, those yeah, the, yeah, ba- the, ba- the basket of puppies, and then the basket yeah. of kittens. Yeah, Hello? don't get me wrong. I love dogs too, but yeah, <laughs> unfortunately, the kittens were too kind of newborn, so I can't really touch them because of like, oh. bacterial things. But you yeah, know, I was able they to look so at them from cute. afar. Yeah. yeah they were so adorable like so that soft. was like the that shelter had like those are the nicest um yeah, rescues yeah. i've ever seen <laughs> yeah you couldn't really, really see good. it but yeah on the other side of the frame there were also ostriches and stuff it was just like packed for real no, no, yeah, no i was like kidding. what <laughs> <laughs> um, baby <okay>. ostrich <laughs> yeah that would be that would be intense i think ostriches are scary 
I, they are, yeah, they're terrifying. The way they look at you. I, Huge uh, eggs, too. Have you seen those? Yes. Oh, <laughs> all right. So, all right. So, beaches or mountains? Oh, that's a great question. Holy. Uh, I got to, I think I got to go with mountains. Yeah. Okay. Just because, like, the Good. view and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Mountains. All right. Would you rather uh, spend an evening in a suit or tie or in sweats? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man i think sweats i just yeah. love sweats too much yeah. Yeah. yeah at this time of the year sweats yeah very good but okay. i love putting on a good suit with a bow tie or something that's also awesome. Ooh, bow tie i like yeah. bow ties i'm a bow tie guy but, yeah very mm-hmm. good okay uh what is your favorite holiday my favorite holiday <laughs> it kind of goes against the grain of christmas but uh-huh. i want to say halloween oh, <laughs> i just love good. the movies I just love the movies there more, oh, yeah. I think, too. And you like a good scary movie? I love a good scary movie. And also, I love uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, which, do you think it's a Christmas movie or a Halloween movie? <laughs> you know, that is the question of the ages. Um, yeah. It's- <laughs> but <laughs> In your I opinion. think it's more of a Halloween movie. I yeah, think because it's, Tim Burton and everything, right? Yeah, it's Halloween Town because even its version of Christmas is kind of a little bit scary. on the spookier side. <laughs> yeah, that's with a really Jack. good point. Um, I mean, it definitely, it's sort of moral lesson is very Christmassy. Mm -hmm. Totally. And so, but I think, yeah, I still, I would go with, I guess the tone of it. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. But, but ideally maybe watch it in like November. Make it yeah, like your find mid- a good middle ground. <laughs> <laughs> and also little chocolate bars. That's also my thing. So I love little chocolate bars. So it's got to oh, be Halloween. Perfect. Yeah. So I, I do really, and I love, I love like, I almost like the planning part of Halloween better yeah. than the actual day. Cause I love <laughs> planning my costume and thinking about what oh, I want to do. Oh, isn't it so fun? Yeah. It's yeah. so much fun. Like this I year I was my, an angel. Yeah. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah. I already fun. have mine planned up for next year, too. Oh, really? You're on yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. What were you this year? Uh, this year, what was I? Oh, uh, do you know you know the, the rapper Cardi B? I don't. I'm kind not of. up on my rap. Anyway, yeah, that's fine. Anyway, her name is Cardi B, and so that's, uh-huh. been, blowing, that's been blowing up my popularity. <laughs> like, everyone's always, like, referring <laughs> me as Cardi B. So I bought a B costume. Oh, so cute. I was Cardi B. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just a little play on word. Uh, That's very cute. I love that. Yeah, no, I've I've done. I've been Dorothy. I've been. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was Chucky from Rug, Rugrats. Oh, <laughs> nice! I love fun. Chucky from yeah, Rugrats. Yeah, that was yeah. fun. No, it's fun. But yeah, all right. it's so fun dressing up. So we'll have to get you in a fall harvest movie. One of these yeah. Oh yeah. That'd be good. <laughs> um. All right. So this is a hard question because. Okay you don't have hallmark channel in canada but mm. you can pick one that you've been in i'll try what yeah, is yeah. your favorite hallmark movie <laughs> oh man there's this one i saw recently it's called uh, road to christmas yeah <laughs> it's really good i don't fault you in that at all <laughs> and, and, you know it's just like yeah I, it's good sorry guys it's gotta be road to christmas i mean just like you can tell how much fun we had on set too like from the snowman building relay to like to just like the white elephant scenes yeah and like above everything else, it was like my all-time favorite filming experience. So yeah. I am really glad that everyone did enjoy it. Yeah. Seriously, so very good. Yeah, for cool. Christmas. Well, this has been so much fun. You yeah, our delight to talk to you. We had a great, <laughs> thank a great you so time. much. Yeah, and it was really fun. We'll definitely have to have you on again. And uh, absolutely, please. Uh, yeah. So, uh, how can people find you on social media, Twitter, all that fun stuff? Yeah, uh, you, you can usually find me on Twitter. Uh, under the handle underscore I don't know why I put the underscore as if there were so many <laughs> Cardi Wongs in the handle, but it's underscore Cardi Wong uh, then that's my handle for Twitter and on Instagram I am Cardi Wrong C-A-R-D-I-W-R-O-N-G uh, on Instagram that's where I kind of that's where right. my presence is more because you know I like pictures okay good all right I will have that all in the description section people can check it out and uh, yeah, uh, just make, let us know what you think. Uh, uh, what would you answer to any of these questions in the uh, comment section or on Twitter if you're following? And uh, yeah, make sure you're following the podcast, the Homer Keys Pod, all over social media. And uh, and you can follow me at Rachel's Reviews uh, all over social media as well. And thanks so much, Cardi. This was really fun. It was my pleasure. Thank you, Rachel. Bye now. Bye. <laughs>